Labbook have been developed for lab network and to help to computerize lab information. We are here to move from paper-based Labbook to computer Labbook that will centralize all the information, but more importantly, that will help the lab to take statistics, report, and to give value to the result they are producing. Labbook has been developed since uh, 2010 by Merrill Foundation. We are now at the 3.0 release, thanks to our uh, partner for um, computer uh, development, that is Egli. What is Labbook? Labbook is an alias. It's open source and free. It is available in French, English, but you will also have the interface translated into Portuguese, Lao, Khmer, Malgache, and Arabic. It is definitely a software that puts the user as the center of the logic, and we really push into this user-centric design to get an easy-to-use interface. And of course, it can be uh, very easily uh, customized by putting the lab logo and all your own information into the software. How an alias is working? There is uh, the dedicated uh, lab activity process that will go from the secretary that will enter all the patient information and all the requests of analysis. Then it will move to the technician account that will in fact uh, put all the lab results into the software. Then we will move to the biological account where uh, we will um, do the biological validation and then edit the uh, lab report. Therefore, into Labbook, we will have several kinds of account that will be secretary, technician, biologist, but we will also find a prescriber, clinician account, and of course, quality account, as quality management is definitely built into Labbook to help you to go for the ISO 15189. What is Labbook? Labbook is, uh, is free. You can download it from the website. And it's distributed as an ISO that will include Ubuntu and Labbook. Therefore, when you will install it, you will have a complete uh, secure system dedicated for lab management computerized. So Labbook will computerize all the processes of the lab with pre-analytical, analytical, and post-analytical phase. It will manage barcode. We have also a uh, billing management um, into, uh, the, built into the system. Within the quality management interface, we will have all the uh, documentation uh, that will be uh, stored into uh, the book. You can share your process, you can share your manual, you can uh, computerize your equipment maintenance. But we also have a stock management system that will help you to really take benefit of all these uh, computerized systems. And of course, we will have reports that will be statistical and epidemiological report. With Labbook 3, we have now compatibility with DHS2. So how is it working? We have to install a, a CSV file into Labbook that will explain to Labbook how to calculate and how to export the data according to the DHS2 of the country uh, targeted. As you all know, that DHS2 from one Ministry of Health can be completely different from another. So these first steps will help us to customize the exportation. Uh, so then Labbook will calculate according to uh, this CSV file and will give you all the data that you can then import into uh, DHS2. For UNET, it's pretty the same. Uh, Labbook will export the data that you will uh, enter into backlink and then you will find all your data regarding microbiology into the software UNET. 
So this is a big improvement we have done into lab book and we definitely uh, think that you will enjoy those two interfaces. But more than having an alias, LabBook puts security at the middle of everything. We have backup that will be encrypted using a GPG key. But even if we are using Ubuntu, which is a Linux system, we have built in an antivirus, also a firewall, and we have put inside a secure uh, encrypted messaging system as signal. As well, LabBook is not only an alias, it's also a way to share knowledge. So when you install LabBook, you have access to all the e-learning that Fondation Merieux have developed. They are installed locally on your computer, so you don't need internet to uh, have access to them. And therefore, at any time, you can uh, do continuous training for you, but also for all the staff of the lab. LabBook is free, it's open source, and it's using a MySQL database. It's programmed using Python uh, and a Podman container. You can find all those information on the website of LabBook, connect with the community, within LinkedIn, and of course, with GitHub. All those information are available on our web website, labbook.org. Thank you.